Hey everyone, and welcome back to the galaxy. Today, we are going to learn how to create this isometric map effect in GIMP. I've included a template that includes guides in the description. It also contains all photographs used in this project. To easily create this effect, I recommend downloading that and following along. The photos you want to use for this effect are a skew bird's eye view. They aren't taken directly from above. I will be using this picture of a beach. In my project, I'm starting with four layers. Two layers of our image that I've linked together. You can link layers together by clicking right here next to the eye. It will create a chain. A dirt texture layer and one white background layer. We will start by hiding the bottom image layer and dirt texture layer. Then we are going to draw out our square shape with the pen tool. Using the pen tool, create four points where I'm clicking on the guides. And to close a path, make sure to hold Control on a PC or Command on a Mac. Next, we want to go over to our Paths dialog and click the eye on this path. Then, navigating back to the Layers dialog, we can use the Move tool to refine the placement of the photograph and what section we want to focus on. Once we have our placement decided, we will go back to the Paths dialog and right-click this active path and select Path to Selection and untoggle the visibility by again clicking this eye. Again, we will go back to our Layers dialog and right-click on the top Landscape layer and select Add Layer Mask. From this dialog, we want to select Selection and then click Add. Then to get rid of the active selection, go up to Select, None. Now I want to edit this layer mask to create a little more depth to this effect. To help, I can toggle on the visibility of our other image layer and turn the opacity down. This allows me to see parts of the mountain that I want to reveal. Then I'm going to make sure the layer mask on the original image is selected. And using the brush tool, set to white, I can reveal parts of the original image that will provide a 3D effect. Once you're happy with the results, you can hide the bottom image layer. Next, we are going to turn on the visibility of our dirt texture layer. And using the perspective tool, position it on the right side of this effect. Before using this tool, make sure the dirt texture layer is active by clicking on it. I will then use these intersecting guides to make sure I get a believable angle. Next, we want to toggle on the visibility of our second image layer, and we can also unlink these two. And I'll increase the opacity of this background layer for now. Next, using the Rectangle Select tool, we are going to cut out a section of the ocean. After creating my selection, I will press Ctrl-C on a PC or Command-C on a Mac and copy this selection. Then I will press Ctrl V on a PC or Command V on a Mac 
and paste this selection. This will create a floating selection in your Layers dialog. To create a layer from the selection, I will click this paper with a plus icon that's highlighted green. If your layer doesn't already shrink down to the content size, you can go up to Layer, down to Crop to Content. Next, we are going to hide the visibility of this background image layer, and we're going to duplicate this water strip. And then I will hide this bottom strip layer. Next, I will again use the Perspective tool to transform one of the water sections to line up with the left side of the image. Once we are happy with the placement, we can retoggle the duplicated water layer. We want to line this up with the right side of the image, just like the dirt. Again, I will use the Perspective tool. Now, we are going to use a layer mask to erase parts of the water on the right side to create a fluid blend between the ground and the water. Right-click on the right side water strip layer and select Add Layer Mask. In this dialog, select White Full Opacity and then click Add. Then, taking our brush tool, with the foreground set to black, I'm going to paint a mask to hide the water in parts which should be ground and create a taper to emulate the ground beneath a beach. Finally, we are going to add a shadow to give this effect even more depth. Hide the background layer and right-click on one of the visible layers and select New from Visible. Then go up to Filters, Light and Shadow, and down to Drop Shadow Legacy. We will change the Offset X to 5 the Offset Y to 60, and the Blur Radius to 50. We will make sure the color is black, and Opacity is set to 60%. I will also turn off Allow Resizing, and click OK. Now we can toggle back on our background layer. And I will also go up to View, Show Guides, so we can see our design in full. And that's it! You've created this awesome isometric map effect! I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, consider subscribing for more awesome content. Let us know if you found this tutorial helpful by liking this video and leaving us a comment. Thanks for watching!